I know we need money, but I don't want him to get used to working a low stop. Did she just say low salary? Hey everyone, Mama Michelle here. Today's topic. So today, we are going to talk about uh, an important topic. And I think I've mentioned that before that on my channel that men, you need to test women. You can't just, you, you can't just, uh, how would I say that? You can't just accept a woman because she's a woman. No. She has to worth your time. She has to worth your attention. She has to worth your money. She has to worth your kingdom. She has to worth it. If she doesn't worth it, then do not pick her up. What, do I, what, do I, what does that mean? That means for the guys that think that um, yeah, they are wealthy and they can have anything they want, be careful who you pick up from the street because there are certain women out there that are here to uh, liquidate your asset, your wallet. Yeah, so some girls that you get, it basically means you're going to be <laughs> losing your financial security. Now, to begin with, <clears throat> We're gonna look at a Reddit, <clears throat> a Reddit of a woman talking about considering leaving her husband. I did mention on my video about being practical, the kind of the wife a man should get. This is an example of why you should not get any woman to be your wife. If you wanna, just as I mentioned, go back to my video. You're gonna find out not any woman that you get you should wife them up so without further ado let's begin Ooh, actually not let me make this one a little bit bigger let me make it a little bit bigger all right so my husband lost his job and I am considering leaving him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, my husband lost his job and I'm considering leaving him. Men, you have to take notes. Take notes. Let's see. My husband is a plastic surgeon. Surgeon and he previously made 500 to 700k a year with bonuses at his practice what does that mean let's see that means he has money you know that means yeah he has money Now, I am sure that he's been making that kind of money before they were married. What that means is at least <clears throat> he's already, he should be at least a millionaire. Alright? Let's see. If he's been a surgeon for at least five years then he, before he got married, then he should be a millionaire right now. He should be a millionaire. But... Let's see what else. Uh oh, he was recently 
let go due to COVID reducing plastic surgeon surgery patient load. So the ching ching <clears throat> the ching ching was not coming anymore. Now I'm probably sure if he is well versed in managing now hold on yeah. If he is well versed in managing his money, then um, <clears throat> which I think men you should do, you should be really really good at, meaning learning how to save, how to invest, and make the most of your money. If he is that kind of a person, then there shouldn't be any issue, because he would be he would still be a millionaire. But if he does not know how to use his resources, then he can become a poor guy in less than a year. Hey, yes, he can become a poor guy in less than a year. Let's move on. <clears throat> he is a doctor and has only been able to find general practice work. Love that's I'd rather basically the lowest job you can get as a doctor his highest offer has been 250k and he's considering accepting accepting the offer now to some people getting paid 250k a year is a lot of money but apparently to her that doesn't sound good i mean think about it you go from 500 to 700k to 250k that's like a drop that's a drop at least in half or at least more than a half um yeah to go from 700k to 250k that's about 250k you're gonna lose yes that's like half a drop at more at least so that is a big 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 step down of pay great i don't think he likes that idea though i don't think she likes that idea let's see i know we need money but i don't want him to get used to working a low stop Should just say low salary. Okay, a low salary and not working hard to get back up to mid six feet, six figures that we are accustomed. To the 700k a year, almost so a million dollars a year. To 50k a year, this is a low salary. Well, of course, because she's been used to the 700k a year, almost a million dollar a year. If you're getting paid half a million a year every year, and then you lose your job due to COVID, and now you have to get paid 250, that's a quarter million you are used to be having half almost three quarters every year nice a quarter million i wonder why isn't she thankful that he actually gets a job instead of being without a job in gratitude yes but let's move on Ooh. He used to give me a 10k a month allowance, which has now been slashed to 3k. So more likely, she doesn't have a good job, or maybe she doesn't have any job at all. I had to stop getting my nails, hair, and salon services. Wait a minute. Um, so how much money does it cost to get a hair 
nail and uh, saloon and how many times do you have to get a nail saloon and a, a what hey gents gents let me tell you something if from the get-go a woman is talking about getting a hair getting a, a her hair done and nails done at least once a month she is not for you she is for the street she is for the streets i don't care how much money you make you do not waste your money on a woman that wants to do her hair and nail once a month what doesn't she have natural hair and natural nails either does she have to have fake nails all the time no is that that's mostly what happens whenever they do their nails they put some fake nails some fake eyelashes and some wigs like no we don't do that men you need to stop doing that because the women are doing that because you allow them yeah you allow well, we as men we allow them yeah if you hear a noise then there's a construction and cars passing by outside Anyways, men, you need to stop allowing women to do that. If they want to do it, they can use their own money. Whether she's your girlfriend or your wife, they're going to have to use their own money. You are not supposed to spend money on a woman. Are they going to spend money on you to do things that you would like to do? More likely not. Can't a woman be natural once in a, once a while? Ah, oh, man. My monthly shopping has been, signif has been reduced significantly. How many times do you shop? And where do you go shopping? 10k a month that's that's some people don't even make that much money a month 3k a month that's like average salary i know he might recover but he might not and i also know my worth and what i am accustomed first of all first of all let me say this you got no worth now let me put it that way If you as a woman, you have a worth, when you get born, your worth comes from your dad. When you get married, your worth comes from your husband. Let me tell you something. You decide to leave him, great for him. And if, I'm, if I were him, I hope he sees this video and be happy. Because you do not worth him anything after you don't, you're not worth anything to him because all you're here to do is come and steal his money and then when he goes in a downfall you leave you're a thief and unfortunately my friend brother you had allowed her to become that because you wanted to pamper her and give her everything that she wanted Yes, you need to take responsibility for your action as well, brother. You need to do that. And maybe next time, maybe when you learn that lesson, you will stop doing such a horrendous, horrific action. She knows her worth. I don't see any worth in that at all. She's getting paid to be your wife. Wow. I feel just gross having to accept this sort of lifestyle. Hmm. I know there are other men at his old practice that clear more than 500k a year 
and there's no reason I can't get one of these men. So you're already thinking about shagging those other guys while you're still married to somebody. Alright, men, listen to this. If any man marries a woman without testing what kind of woman she is, it's on him. Let me tell you, even if you make a lot of money, don't ever disclose that to a woman. Do not. Because instead of liking you for who you are, they're going to like you for what you bring. You need to not mention what you do, mention how much money you make. Now, you might give like a rough estimate, but don't ever give the amount. And on your on the bank account, do not always have only one bank account. Because if you have one, all the money goes to that account. But if you have multiple, you can use your main bank account with a low value amount. That way she doesn't think that she has a lot of money because that's the one that she uses all the time. You need to learn to be smarter, man. Be smarter. Invest your money. Take it off from your account as much as possible. As long as you can, you, you, you can pay everything that you need monthly, everything else that you don't need, take it out of your account and invest it. That way your account is not jacked up with a lot of money in it. Just an advice. <sighs> we don't have kids yet and I just don't want to settle for some losers with mediocre ambitions. Now all of a sudden he's a mediocre, he's a loser with mediocre ambitions. But I hope you can leave that man. Please leave him. That way he can see your true color. Actually, before you leave him, I hope he sees your true color. And then, when you leave, he'll be happy because he's going to learn the truth about being red peeled. Women like these, men, women like these, women like these are the reason why the manosphere we talk about, in the manosphere we talk about the RP knowledge. Not that we hate women, but we want all the men to understand females' nature. At least the bad ones. Because the good ones are not going to do what, what this one is doing. But since you never know who is the bad one or the good ones, we put all women together. In a sense. Even though we know it's not all, but with the majority, then we have to do that with every single woman to test them to see what kind of woman they are. Let's move on. What should I do? I am afraid if I leave him too soon, I might find myself in an even more difficult place. Please advise. I know I am a mod here, but even I need advice also. Um, what should you do? Leave him. That will be the best option. Leave him. And, I, and please, my friend, if you see this video, if you see, if you notice your wife is acting up that dad, and you, got, you have no kids, leave her, leave her. Yeah, leave her. Because when time goes rough for you, she's going to leave you. Now, am I advocating for every man to do that? No. Am I advocating for every man to leave their wives? No. But if you can notice this behavior, you need to do something about it. You need to do something about it. And stop wasting your money on women just because they are pretty. They have to worth your money. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the comment section say on that one. Ha! Huh. The first person, the I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention that. What a loser! 
he should give you 240k and you want a 10k until he gets a better job is this the modern day women <laughs> so he hasn't gotten the job yet but already you want that woman to have him give her 240k and that way he can live on a 10k a month let me see I wonder how big the uh, how big his house is you know what if I were him what I would do is I would sell my house because I'm probably thinking that the house that he has is a big house I'm guessing I would sell that house and get a smaller one men do not waste your money on things you don't need so now he has to live on the 10k while she lives on the 20 to 40k okay what else uh oh in no view jen said please do so meaning please leave meaning leave the leave the guy then you can get a job at walmart and live a normal life while your husband can find someone who actually cares about him and not his salary well said please do leave him because right now your life is miserable leave him go live your life leave him and then get a job at walmart you know sometimes women women do things that are against what they what they really want and then they start crying when things don't work the way they want it to be working i'm like well that's your choice and i'm not sad for your decision if you made that decision live with it uh oh last one last one she wants a six-figure husband while all she has to offer is is her used horn horn out um by jj how pathetic well guys some women are not good for just are not good for anything but whatever she has in between her legs she got nothing better to offer and because the man has been um, spending money on her unnecessarily and now she's been accustomed to high volume of money coming to her and high volume of spending now because things got rough she doesn't want to change her lifestyle man let me tell you something the lifestyle that you give a woman is what she's gonna want and if you give her something lower than what she used to give to her she is not gonna want to change because she's been accustomed to the high life now this is not for every woman but this is the majority of today's women the majority of women are like this today they want to give them a certain lifestyle and you try to go down they will not be happy that's why you never take a woman out on a date in a nice place spend some money on her no don't ever do that actually if you could try not to spend money as if you try if you could try not to spend money on a woman as much as possible do this she needs to learn that you she, she needs she has to learn that you're not just gonna spend money on her you're not just gonna throw money at her no no no, no. because if you do that she will take the money or well, of course she will use it for the money 
and then she will give her vajayjay to Tyrone Chad while she's extracting your wallet. That's how women work. So men, this is something that we have to learn. Stop doing this horrific behavior that we like to do for women. Stop it. Get yourself better. Get yourself together. And then test women to see what kind they are. That was Mario Michel. Hope to see you guys again. Until then, Mario out.